you think about your experience of stress on a daily basis, a lot of that comes from the environments that you're in. So traffic stress, noise, population density, the city can affect our sleep. So there's lots of light pollution, lots of noise pollution, inadequate access to housing, riding a bike through a city with no cycling infrastructure, all these things can add up uh, and create a level of stress that might push people past the point. When you look at some of the research in animal studies um, about what it's like to be surrounded or having looming objects, a lot of it is about um, fear of a predator. Environmental psychology suggests that we need a view of our horizon and the ability to prospect and see what's around us. And so being surrounded by these tall buildings may activate our fear response because we can't escape the environments. The biggest thing is focusing most of our development around the automobile. Um, that creates hostile environments where we feel the threat of the speeding cars that can cause you know, uh, Ill or injury or fatalities. Uh, it requires us to be in this hyper-vigilant state. And we give a lot of land space to these cars from, from parking spots. That creates pressures on where we can build houses. And then we get this imbalance of the suburb versus the urban environment and the highways that connect them, and that has implications on, on the environment. Um, and it creates the sense that you can access your city and that you don't have to drive a car uh, if you want to go anywhere um, and experience what the city has to offer. Having access to green space is I think a human right and definitely a human need. Um, it's a space that we can go to get a break from the noisy, uh, chaotic urban environment and perhaps find some peace for ourselves. And we're urbanizing at an unprecedented rate, not to say the whole world will be urban, but as more people move to these spaces, we have to be a bit more thoughtful and aware about how the decisions that we make about the infrastructure that we build or the policies that we create impacts well-being. 